Welcome. So this is a, uh, um, a two, uh, actually a three-dimensional um, motion problem, and we're going to attempt it using IJK notation. So to be clear, we're trying to do a three-dimensional uh, uh, kinematics problem all at once. Uh, it's, it's very impressive. <laughs> So let's have a look and see how it works. A particle has an initial velocity of 3i minus 2j plus 4k. I'm not even going to try and draw that out realistically. I'm just going to represent it by vi. And I'm going to write along the side of vi 3i minus 2j plus 4k. And that's going to be meters per second. And then we also have a constant acceleration of this. So I'm going to draw an acceleration like this. And next to that, I'm going to put minus 2i plus 4j minus 6k meters per second squared. And I imagine this journey taking place. Well, as time passes, this thing is going to follow some kind of path dependent on its velocity and its acceleration. And at some time, delta t, I'm at this point here, and I will have a velocity. It will be my final velocity and I don't know what that is. So I have an initial velocity in IJK notation. I have a fi an acceleration in IJK notation. It's a constant acceleration. I have a time interval. I let kinematics work and I want to get my three-dimensional IJK representation of my final velocity. So the first thing I've got to recognize is I need an equation that links these things. I know that I have vi is equal to 3i minus 2j plus 4k meters per second. And I know that my a is equal to minus 2i plus 4j minus 6k meters per second squared, I know that my time, delta t equals 6 seconds, and I would like to find my final velocity, and let's put that in red, v final equals, I don't know. And the equation that comes to mind which links these things is, well, vf equals vi plus a delta t. That's, that's a good equation. I need a way of adding these things up and I prefer at this point to have a grid system. So I'm going to put i, j, k down. I'm going to make myself a little box. And what I have is I have uh, my vi is plus 3 minus 2 plus 4. So that's the first part of my equation done. And then I have a times time. My time is 6 seconds. So I can get my second line by multiplying a by 6. So rather than minus 2, I'm going to put down minus 12 because minus 2 times 6 is minus 12. And rather than putting down 4, I put plus 24, because, because 4 times 6 is 24. And rather than putting down minus 6, I put down minus 36, because 6 times minus 6 is minus 36. Now, this operator here is an addition operator, so I've got to add these two guys together. And I have 3 
added to minus 12 is minus 9i added to, let's do the next one, 24 minus 2 is plus 22j and then let's do the third one, 4 minus 36 is minus 32k and that's a bit clumsy so let's just put down minus 9i plus 22j minus 32k and it's a velocity so that's going to be meters per second and that is my v final vector in three dimensional space minus 9 plus 22 minus 32 here it is we just did a kinematics problem in three dimensions uh, relatively straightforward there we have it